everybody, this is Praxis, and the pantry shelving is done, and everything from the top floor has moved down here, and it's a really nice feeling to know that all the food that we've had here is now in a cool environment instead of a warm environment. And what you see here is probably, it's, it's the majority of my pantry. Uh, I've got maybe another 15% of the pantry back at the temporary house that I still have to bring over, and uh, there is actually a sizable amount of the pantry over in the root cellar, uh, which is in that direction, connected to this place through this tube here. Um, but, uh, you know, the majority of it is here, and it's it's a good feeling. And I'm really, uh, I'm also really feeling good about the dimensions of these shelves. I think they really worked out nicely. These 28-inch deep shelves are great for having storage bins slide in and out. Uh, these 14-inch shelves are great for, you know, well, here's like a, a rack of ginger ale. These are, uh, you know, uh, cases of... Uh, uh, mason jars, you know, the 14 inches really works for that kind of thing, and the heights worked out w well too. I, and I designed the heights for what was going in. In terms of mason jars, I designed these shelves so you could get two stacks of mason jars on these shelves, they, you know, either in boxes or you could put in some and then put a layer of cardboard and then put another layer on top of the cardboard. Um, uh, you know, the juice bottles here, you know, they were made so there's just a little bit of space on the top there. Everything really worked out well and I'm really pleased with it. The next step on this is actually to take, uh, well, you can see I've started, take these sheets and just cover the whole thing up. Uh, we do have inspectors coming through and Remember what I was talking about yesterday, you know, you don't want to be like flaunting it in people's face if there's ever, you know, a crisis situation. You don't want people lining up at your door because you're the guy with the grocery store in your back, uh, in, you know, in the back of your house. So uh, I do want to cover this stuff up, and that's pretty normal on a construction site to have dust covers over things to try to keep things cleaner. So I, I don't think it'll raise any eyebrows or anything. Um, and we do still have three inspections left because the inspector for the plumbing didn't show up yesterday. I was told this morning, because I called him at 8.30 <laughs> when I got back here and saw that, that you know, we were the, here all day yesterday, they didn't show up. But I left the place unlocked last night, got here in the morning, no sign off. So I called the plumber at 8.30 this morning, he's like, he didn't show up, you know, uh, can you remind them to do their job and do what they said they're going to do? Uh, I was told they had an emergency of some sort, like a boiler exploded and, you know, there's always an emergency. Uh, you know, if you've learned nothing in this series, <laughs> it's got to be this, is that, you know, if people say they're going to do something, there's a really good chance there's going to be an emergency and they're not going to do it. So, um, hopefully they're going to come today because if they don't come today, we've got a major snowstorm coming through tonight into tomorrow. Uh, and I, you know, I'm not sure when I'll see them uh, after that because I'm sure there'll be all sorts of emergencies related to that. Um, in terms of my day tomorrow, I'm probably going to be spending half of it just getting here. I'm going to have to plow the temporary house drive over here, shovel the entire driveway here, because the plow I have there I can't bring over here until we move. Uh, so I'm going to have to shovel the entire driveway just to get down here. You guys have been watching the series, you know how long that driveway is going to be uh, to shovel. So um, I think half the day I'm going to spend on that. Uh, but the rest of the day today, what I'm going to do is once I get these covered up, uh, I'm going to do some more board cutting. There are a few places here and there in the house uh, that don't have boards, nothing that's going to keep us from moving in. Uh, the inspector's not showing up, that's what's going to keep us from moving in. But, um, you know, I figure out I might as well cut those boards because I'm doing the cutting outside and while it's bitter cold out today, it's going to be bitter cold and super snowy tomorrow. So I figure I will, uh, I will get those boards cut and then I spend... You know, the next week in here, just kind of sanding things up, sealing walls. Uh, in two days, I can start sealing the floors on the second floor. And then we're, re we're really just in the... I think it's going to be the inspectors that are going to hold us up on this one. Uh, you know, I thought it was going to be the floors that would hold us up, that the inspectors would, you know, work out. Uh, but we've had a bunch of delays. Remember, the plumber forgot for a week to even show up, and then they forgot for half a week to even call the inspector. I, it's that stuff, I think, is going to be the stuff that's holding us up in the end. Um, but, you know, it was going to be something, you know, the project started with people not showing up for the job, and isn't it just appropriate that that's the way that it ends? We're getting there to the end, but we're not there yet. What's up? Um, uh, fiberglass is stuck in my thumb. Okay, well, this is an emergency. I'm going to help him with the fiberglass in his thumb. It's from the uh, foam, right? I don't know. I, or maybe it's... We'll see. All right, that's it. Thanks for watching.